what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car. Good morning, you guys. I am today is like I'm trying to keep calm. Sorry, guys, I had to blow my nose. Good morning. So, today I have um, quite a few errands I need to run. I'm in a wedding this weekend. Um, this, I feel like like I'm cheating on Starbucks right now, but um, I've been going to my like gas station that's just on the street from my house, and they have like I just discovered they have like this amazing coffee bar, and I can get this coffee for like two dollars. It was huge, um, but they have like half and half and sugar free um, like syrup and um, like in the little like coffee bar area. Anyways, so I feel like I'm cheating on Starbucks because I'm sitting in the Target parking lot right now drinking not a Starbucks but anyway so today I am on the hunt um, today I have the day off I have a four-day weekend this weekend and one of my best friends is getting married Kaya you need to sit on your bum bum <sighs> sorry about that so um, so I have to um, go to the rehearsal dinner this evening because um, one of my best friends is getting married um, so I'm trying to find something to wear and I'm at Target right now. I don't think I'm gonna find anything here I've really been striking out lately, but um, I Have to get milk here and some other things anyways And then I have to head to Ulta and if I have not found anything at Target then I'm going to be heading to the mall Because I know I can always find like some kind of top something of some sort from the mall But they don't open till 10 which is why we're here at Target first um, because it is like 9:20 in the morning, so let's uh, let's go. Also, I wanted to mention to you guys quickly too that I did start a Facebook page for my like YouTube stuff for like sharing videos because I do have a lot of people who prefer Facebook over Instagram. Um, and actually, with one of my um, one of my brand ambassador deals that I've got coming up, I needed to have a Facebook page. So. You guys can head over. I've got it linked down below now in the description box. So if you guys want to follow along on Facebook, you are more than welcome to. So. Why? How did you do that? I didn't do that. All right. Let's go inside. Calm, nice. Okay guys, I got home actually quite a while ago, probably about an hour and 15 minutes ago. Did not bring my camera out in Target and I'm here to tell you why. I cannot, I don't even know how to start this clip. So you get to Target and get inside and Kaya was not listening and she ran off. And like most Look at and no, don't. And typically when this happens, you know, I warn her and I say, you know, the target workers don't allow for naughty girls to be in the store and they'll tell them that they have to leave. So what does Kaya do? Kaya goes up to the workers and makes friends with them. Makes friends with the manager of this location. And they are, it was the cutest thing, I'm not gonna lie, and she was like talking with her for like 20 minutes. Finally, she, like the manager was so cute, brought her, brought her over to Starbucks, got her a kid's um, Starbucks Frappuccino and the like Target Dog um, cake pop. Yeah, it was like, it was really cute, but just like so smart of her. Like how did she know so to make friends with the workers so that she wouldn't get kicked out even if she was being naughty. Like, who kid does that? And then, in a minute, in a minute. And then, after that, so like Kaya, I mean, Kaya was pretty good after that actually. But she ended up, we got her some eyeshadow because I got some makeup stuff for the wedding that I'm in this weekend. And then I, and then I want makeup too. Mm -hmm. And then, so, um, 
Like Riker had his appointment this morning and then we went over and went to Target. Um, did like the wedding, the wedding things that I had to do this morning. Got home and I had to do something for work really quick. So I'm like sitting in my vehicle and I was working in like you know, on my on my surface, like in my vehicle, and I just figured it'd be easier to leave them in the car. Like we're just gonna sit there for like 10 minutes while I finish my work stuff up. And I am not kidding you, like Mike must not have strapped in the car seat all the way, Kaya's car seat, when he transferred it back over to my vehicle. Thank God we were parked and we haven't gotten into an accident because Kaya literally, like she was throwing a tantrum and I was ignoring, I was trying not to acknowledge the tantrum and she had knocked her car seat and over the like this. Also got us and pulled it. Yeah, he would have pulled us over if he would have seen your car seat like that. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of what it looked like. It was absolutely, I mean, like insanity. I still can't believe that happened. So that is what it looked like. Anyways, knocked her car seat completely over. So. I bring her inside because I was not having a tantrum like that. I finished my workup and um, I went upstairs to go to the bathroom and I Kaya went so to the bathroom. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's and then Kaya went to the bathroom and Riker proceeds to put a, um, <laughs> he proceeds to put a toy in the toilet. So that was the next step. After that, Riker proceeded to have a blowout right up his side. And then after that, as I'm changing Riker's diaper, Kaya spilled a ton of milk all over the floor. I can't make this up. And I'm regretting not filming and that I didn't have my camera out. And it's already noon. And I, you, yeah, and now I have a naked boy, and today of all days, Riker has chosen to start walking, like officially walking, and like standing up, he's not just crawling, so now he's like everywhere, he's into everything. I have like two and a half, like my whole sink was full of dishes again. We ordered that control board part for the dishwasher so we can finally fix it, but um, Mike has to install it. So I still have like an entire sink's worth of dishes to do, and you guys, this is embarrassing, but like, it's been like five days since I've done the dishes and it stinks so bad, like so bad. And so now I'm gonna do that and I need to get ready for the rehearsal dinner by like four, so I have four hours to deep clean we this house. We already eat dinner, we already eat dinner. I, yeah, so. Anyways, so on top of all the wedding things that I had to do this morning, I also grabbed a, um, I also grabbed like some things to maybe like try out for an outfit. So I know I've been like chatting with you guys for five minutes, but I had to tell you that story. And I'm gonna show you guys really quickly, just a minute, just a minute. I wanna show you guys really quickly what I got from Target this morning because I just think it's so cute. Um, ah, throwing things. So I've been, you guys know like I'm everything like cheetah and leopard print. Um, I grabbed these like super cute, um, I would more so call these like cheetah loafers. Um, some people call it leopard, but this print to me is like cheetah. So I got these cheetah loafers and these were $25. They were 5% off. Whoa, Target, like calm down on your major coupons. But 5% off on my Target Circle app, whatever. Um, and then I found this in the value section. This is so cute. They also had like a palm one that kind of matched my palm downstairs. But this one like looked the most real. Um, I might end up painting the pot white because I really don't have anything in this like terracotta color um, in my house. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet. Um, maybe in a bathroom because we're doing like a lot of bathroom redos on the m, &M Rustic channel coming up. Um, but maybe in the entryway to go along with the other one. I'm not sure yet. So, but if I like love this, I am going to go ahead and purchase um, more of them because they're $5 in the value section. So, um, anyway, so I got the shoes, I got that, um, and then I needed some makeup for the wedding. And I was gonna go to Ulta, like I said, but literally by the end of Target, I was like, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. This is too much for me. I'm just gonna buy something here. So I went with NYX because it's usually like my go-to like higher up drugstore brand. Um, and I've been, like I said, having the weirdest skin. So I did, um, I got a combination. Yes, you and your brother. Okay, so I also got mixed berry yogurt. Um, do you, hey, will you give your brother one and then you can have one? That sounds like a great idea. 
Anyway, so um, <laughs> I got a combination of things because like I said, I've got really oily skin, but I also have very dry skin. So I thought maybe to like combat it, so I'm gonna still stick with like um, my professional primer for tomorrow for the wedding. Um, and then I also got this Born to Glow um, foundation to wear for tomorrow and then um, to combat because usually like glow plus oily skin is a no but like I said with like the dry skin I thought maybe if this since this is what's sitting on my skin um, this would kind of like hydrate it and give me more of like a um, give me more of like a sheen and then um, to kind of equal it out I got some of this is like my go-to setting spray is the NYX um, matte finish um, setting spray so I got this because again, with like being in a wedding, um, this is this is like needed. Um, setting spray is needed. I apply um, several layers throughout the day. Um, and then I picked up a new Real Technique sponge because that's what I use for my makeup. Um, and then, let's see what else I got. I think this is, that's all like garbage. And my water bottle, oops. Um, but I wasn't sure what to wear for tonight. I grabbed um, a couple different pieces. So I'm gonna wear like my black pantsuit. And then um, as far as like a cardigan, I wasn't sure. I'm pretty sure that I'm either gonna wear these for tonight or um, my sorrel wedges. I'm not, I don't know, like maybe that might be like a little too like edgy and like weird looking and might not go together. Um, but I'm either gonna wear this cardigan or this cardigan, this is beautiful. This is $36.99 um, and I believe it's a, yep, it's a new day, but it's super like good quality. It's really long um, and it's super cute. It's just as long as this gray one, it probably goes to like my mid calf, I would say. So it's really long. Um, and then this isn't really for tonight, but it just fit me so well. So I, I had to grab it and this one was $30. Um, I wasn't necessarily planning on going on like a clothing a spree here, but um, this one just fit me so beautifully and it's such a beautiful color. I think that like with like ashy blonde hair just looks so good. But, yeah, like my hair looks so good right now. I look like a hot mess. But um, anyways, I got this sweater as well. Um, I'll show you guys really quick because I'm not gonna have time to like throw everything on and show you. So I'll just show you on my pictures on my phone I took. Um, this was the green sweater. I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but just the shape was super cute and the color was super cute and I really liked it with those loafers. Um, and then also that white cardigan, it's more casual um, and definitely, I mean, I feel like I could dress it up, but it's definitely something I'll wear all the time, which is why I purchased it. So like I said, like mid calf, no, super it, long, it, comfy. It, it's just such a nice it, material mom. and it has pockets on it, which mom. I love long cardigans with pockets because I'm constantly mom. like, I'm putting like wrappers, like I'm like picking stuff up as I'm running through the house, you know, like putting them in my pockets. So anyways, there's my like mini little Target haul um, and my little um, story time from this morning. And now I have to conquer these dishes. I have so many dishes. I'm gonna show you guys. Don't judge me, but this is what we're tackling. And I have the whole entire house to clean and I have to shampoo my uh, mattress topper once again because um, not Kaya, but one of the dogs had an accident on it last night. <sighs> oh my gosh, all the things. Look at this. It's so bad, it's so gross. Riker's in this cupboard. Riker got into this cupboard. Riker got into the garbage, so I had to put it up on the counter. Kids destroyed the living room. Coyote half ate an orange. I mean, like, come on guys, I can't be the only mom. That feels like a hot freaking mess. I love my kids dearly, but holy moly. Okay, three and a half hours later. <sighs> three and a half hours later. Cleaning, I've got a naked baby boy with me, um, but I just got done cleaning the entire kitchen. The whole main floor is clean. So there, there is the proof that I do my dishes and I put them away and I clean my counters, I scrub my sink out. Um, I have some pork chops laid out for Mike and the kids tonight. Everything is sparkling clean. The stairs are another story, but everything is vacuumed. 
The rug is vacuumed. It was absolutely filthy in here. Kaya's still playing, so I couldn't put away all the toys. But for the most part, she's clean. I vacuumed underneath like where Riker's chair was, cleaned off the table, oh, shined her up. Wow, that was a lot of work. Hi guys, okay. I'm off on my schedule. One of my best friends got married yesterday, so I've been super busy with like rehearsal dinner and like all the prep work. And um, of course, I was in it yesterday, so anyway, it was quite the eventful past like four days. So I literally have not picked up the camera since I don't even remember when. I'll include footage before this. So tonight, um, today, we're feeling a little rough. I'm just I'm really tired, especially tired because um, I've just been like go, 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 go for the past four days, like I said. Um, so today, I, I took a nap, which is really unlike me. Um, I took a nap, I relaxed. Now I'm making a good dinner. We had some junk food this morning. I smashed some chili cheese fries and a chicken sandwich. The chicken sandwich was not very good though. But um, now I'm just getting like a really good like balanced meal in for the kids. I don't think Breaker has really eaten like a solid good meal yet today. So um, anyways, I'm doing like so much M&M rustic stuff this week and I have tomorrow off and I just need to clear my head. I have a business meeting tomorrow and I really just need to like get my things done and get those in order. So again, if you guys haven't subscribed to the M&M Rustics channel yet, make sure that you do so down below. We have so many fun, exciting DIY videos and like design videos, like all the things, like everything from like event designing, home designing, DIY, home renovations, just all of those really like fun things are gonna be over on that channel. Um, I have a DIY for this sign up on my personal channel right now um, that I posted a long time ago but you'll expect to see you can expect to see like more of those kinds of like oops my camera is going crazy um, you can expect to see like more of those types of like DIYs um, I just got these shutters in from Lowe's um, and they're like you can like make them like custom fit um, but I, I only wanted them to like cover part of this window. I wanted like some of it showing. I don't know. This is like my grandma had some that were like this and I really liked it. I don't know. They're just, they're so cute and cozy and I love them. And yeah, just a little bit more privacy and I can open them like this last one is open. I can leave them all open if I want to. I can leave them all closed. Just like close it, closes that off a little bit more. Um, and then of course the entryway like I showed you guys is done. So those are just like all the things you can expect to see over on that channel is like some of these pieces and like I'll of course mention them to you guys in my vlogs but the key difference um, with that channel is that I will show you guys like exactly where I get everything um, and link everything for you guys in every single video of like where I got my stuff, how, how I was inspired. I'll walk you through that entire process. So, and then eventually Mike and I would like to start like investing in properties and like flipping homes and showing you guys like Can all of the ideas in regards to that. So, what's up girl? Closer. 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 <laughs> That's, that's, that's. Closer. <laughs> too sad, too close. Yeah, that, that. What did you get? I got cards for Christmas. Yeah, I have no idea where those came from, but those are pretty darn cool. I know. It, it was, it's a matching, when you, when you match a card, you win. Yeah, that's that, right. That's a match card game. That's right. You're going to go play it over there? My mom doesn't know what it looks like. <laughs> Um, Mike and Riker are over here. He has, Riker, I have to clarify, Riker has been extra squeaky today 
And then of course, um, Mike's been pretty tired too because we were up really late last night. All right, so tonight I am making um, the like little potato company potatoes. I've got asparagus over here that I'm just sauteing with some seasoning. Um, of course, I use avocado oil for everything. Not saying that oil is like super healthy, but we try to get the healthiest oil we possibly can. Um, and then we just use a little bit of that oil for the little, like, for the little potato company potatoes. Like, they, I don't cut them because they're already, like, small enough. But something that I've learned when I um, cook the potatoes whole is I can't do, like, a chunky seasoning like this because it'll, like, burn up in the pan before it's completely cooked. Sounds stupid. But, um, and then I'm going to do pork chops tonight. And I do, like, a balsamic, um, like, glaze on top and my favorite is to do, um, so I have balsamic vinegar, and then I will do a little bit of honey, and then I will crush up some rosemary, and then I'll have like a little bit of, um, I'll add just a dash of oil in there, um, and then if you have like fig preserves, those are really good in there, um, but actually for my friend's wedding last night, I got this, um, this jam jelly stuff. I thought it was rhubarb, it is not rhubarb, because rhubarb would be actually really gross <laughs> inside of this glaze. But I think it's some kind of berry, I, a grape maybe even. I just, I can't tell. It's like homemade, like Minnesota mom, North Dakota mom style, I'm pretty sure. So it could be like, God, wish that, like there's like these random berries anyways that some of the like small town like grandmas and like moms like make. But anywho, Super sweet gift. I'm gonna try and use some of that for in that glaze tonight too. Do you need to go to the bathroom? Kai gets really mad when she can't get over the gate, but I gotta keep the gate up so that the baby doesn't get up the stairs. So anyway, all the things coming up. I have a um, early tomorrow morning. As soon as I get up, I will be editing this. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope you guys are getting ready for like a normal schedule with me again. I'm really sorry. It's been crazy. Um, anyway, if you have any video suggestions, go ahead and drop those in the comments down below. My mind has been like completely solely focused on this new M&M Rustics launch on March 1st. So between like setting up the like sponsors and setting up the guest posters and setting up um, like these business partnerships and like getting the video ready because we're gonna be doing that the first DIY is of the entryway downstairs <laughs> so we've got that and then we're trying to plan out our other like DIYs that are gonna be coming up in the future and blah 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 so my mind has just been solely focused on that and I have not put a whole ton of time and effort into this channel so I'm sorry you guys um, if you Oh, that's good. So, anyways, let's show you the babies quick before I go. And if you have those video suggestions over the next month or two, let me know. I think I'll be doing like a spring cleaning series um, and like a spring decoration series. I'm not like, I don't know, like spring decorating is not my jam. It never has been. Joy. Joy. Money. Yeah. This is the baby. Everybody wants to see the baby's face. Hi. Can you see my face? How about my face? Yes, your face too. Say hi. You tell him, say I'm pretty much walking. This weekend he like officially, like he started like walking um, a little bit more braver. Wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Mike sent me a clip uh, from the, like Friday night when I was at the rehearsal dinner. And he was super brave and he was taking some pretty large stretch of steps. So, what do you think, puppy boy? Should we have some supper and get you in the bathroom for your bed? He looks pretty tired too. The babysitter is where you out last night? Yeah. Okay guys, well, I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. I hope you're having a motivational Monday and I will see you guys um, either tomorrow or Wednesday for my morning routine. And then we're gonna jump right back into it with some like cooking clean with me's. I've got lots of day in the life videos planned for you with like weight loss updates, um, house updates, all the things. Like I said, kind of like, kind of like the, the behind the scenes for the Eminem Rustic stuff, but anyway. I'll see you guys tomorrow or um, Tuesday for 
another video, okay? Bye, guys.